Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Well, I haven't done anything for a while, so I'm gonna show you what I've been up to. And uh, here it is. A friend of mine, you've heard me talk about him before, uh, Steve, brought me this home light chainsaw that needs to some attention so we can get it going. And I've got it kind of taken apart right now, just trying to check for spark and the spark plug and look at the carburetor, stuff like that. I'm on the process of putting it back together so I can fire it up and see if I can tune the carburetor. I had it running, but it just wouldn't stay running. He brought over, I don't know if you can see, but there's one, two, three weed eaters in that collage of stuff there. That third one there is his. I cleaned the carburetor out on it and he's got new fuel line. I need to get together with him and get that so I can put it back together the rest of the way. And the chainsaw deals is he also has this little craftsman that he needs to get going. He wants to give that one to his son. And this one is a still which he told me I could have that one for doing this work. So yay, free chainsaw basically. And this just came to the house. See all this stuff? Oh wait, what's that? That's a 86 Suzuki 230 that somebody has taken the motor apart and then stopped. <laughs> I guess all the parts are in this cooler. And he's got the manual, a new piston and rings, the cylinder's been bored 30 over. But look at these tires. Oh, yeah. The rims and tires are good. The tires are like freaking new. There's no dry crack on them. The tread is awesome. Full suspension. I'm thinking if I don't want to mess with this engine, this would be good candidate material parts to upgrade my go-kart. Uh, I may have some engine parts for sale. I don't know. I got so many other things going on. I got to uh, figure out what I want to do. But anyway, the rear plastics on it are crap. The front plastics on it are awesome. Got a plastic gas tank. I think you can see down in there. Which I'm thinking. Get rid of this beat up looking piece of crap on this machine. I'll dent it in and everything and put that plastic one on there. It may not be bigger, but it's not going to be rusty and it's not going to be dented. It may not work. I don't know. It's just an idea. Anyway. Yeah. Thing looks like it's been sitting outside for a long time. Everything's rusted up on it, looks like. I don't know, there's a lot of parts there. But anyway, that's what's going on over here. Let's see. The fact that we got a new piston and gasket set and the manual for it. Shucks. This piece looks pretty awesome. This thing is pretty neat. It's got a uh, skid plate. I think you can see it there on the very front of it. It goes all the way under the frame, all the way back under the engine, and curves up at the back. I don't know if you can see it down in there. See that black shadowy thing? That's how far it comes. That's awesome. I mean, that thing covers the whole undercarriage on that rascal. It's really a shame they took this thing apart and then quit on it. Anyway. So that's what's new around here. Yep, that's what's new around here. How tough. <laughs> Alright guys. So, that's what's going on around here. Uh, I know it's not real exciting. 
I may show you something about these chainsaws when I get them going. I'm just gonna mess around a little bit today. It's kind of already late in the day. So, anyway, we'll see ya. Thanks for watching, huh? Take care.